Arizona is full of stunning sights, like the one behind me, Camelback Mountain. Natural formations that catch your eye and make you look up. But some of the state scenery works the other way. Breathtaking, yes, even terrifying when you look down. My name is Dusty Brown. I'm a helicopter pilot here in Page, Arizona with Papillon Airways, and we do tours here in the area over the lake, Tower Butte, Horseshoe Bend. Helicopters have been a passion of mine since I was about 12 years old. I've been around the world flying, and this is the most beautiful country that I have ever been flying in. His office has an unprecedented view of Canyon Country's natural beauty. Horseshoe Bend is located in, uh, in, the, in the beautiful Glen Canyon, and it's a, it's a meander in the river where it, it almost doubles back on itself. It does a 270-degree turn around, and it leaves this beautiful horseshoe shape in the river itself. And uh, you can see the Colorado River down at the bottom, beautiful, clear Colorado River, with uh, the red bluffs of those canyon walls. It was just an amazing spectacle. If you look up a picture of um, the southwest, you're going to see a picture of Horseshoe Bend in there somewhere. This country's desert even has its own sandstone skyscraper, twice as big as the world's largest man-made tower. It looks kind of scary. It's a little intimidating. Uh, a lot of people do, do uh, uh, think it's a lot small. It looks really small, I guess I should say, than it, than it actually is. So by the time we get up there, you realize it's actually quite large up there. You can put two football fields on top. But from a ways, it looks pretty intimidating. A feat only Mother Nature could engineer. We took off and we flew over to the Horseshoe Bend, went over the top of that. Um, then we flew over to Tower View, um, landed on top, had a walk around, which is pretty cool. Tried not to get too close to the edge. From down under to way, way up. It's pretty exciting, um, sort of even hovering over close to the edge and then sort of free falling down a little bit and just a really good experience, kind of something you'd see on a simulator. Um, it's really exciting to be able to get a bird's eye view. So a helicopter flight, um, it's kind of unnatural for humans. When you pick up to a hover, it's a weird feeling. And so, and then when you start moving forward, it's just a little unnatural for people. Um, so that's part of the excitement of it, it's a different feeling. But we get, do get to fly a little bit lower than airplanes because they're up at about 500 feet plus above. And then we're a little bit lower, five, uh, about 300 feet or so usually. And so we get to fly a lot lower and you get to see a lot more of the lake with a helicopter than you do an airplane. The lake is immense. There's so many things to do here. It's nice to see it from above and, and we can point out things like the marinas and, and where they're located and what kind of things you can do there. It looks really good. The water was clear. Um, it looked, I felt like going for a swim, but apparently it's only 10 degrees down there, so I might put that off. But it was, it's a lot bigger than you think. You don't realize how big it is until you see someone down there, like a boat or a person. Reese and Laura are even taking home their own postcard from the edge. I got pretty close. Um, I wanted to get a bit closer, but it looked a bit crumbly, so I thought I'd better not push it. But yeah, it was, it was really good looking down. The most memorable part of this for me will be conquering my fear of heights and landing on top of the, the view. <laughs> Probably landing up on the top, uh, just walking around, checking it all out, uh, just realising how big it is and how high up you are. It feels really good here. It's kind of like another country, but what it is. But it's, yeah, it's really good. Nice being out here in the desert. Arizona Highways Television is brought to you by Arizona Public Service and the Arizona Office of Tourism.